This is question 12 of the ACT math practice exam I'm working through, and this one has to do with a little bit of arithmetic again, uh, some use of fractions, and of course it's a story problem, so here we go. Sasha is a photographer. He wants to res resize one of his large landscape photographs to make it small enough so that he can use it on his business cards. If the original photograph is 4 feet by 2 feet, and Sasha is using a scale of 1 quarter inch equals 6 inches, what will be the size of Sasha's business card size photograph? So, all right, let's let's think about what uh, Sasha is doing here. He's got this, uh, you know, this landscape photograph, which, by the way, is shaped sort of like this. Uh, you know, a large, long rectangle might have, you know, mountains or something like that, and then maybe a lake in front if it was really nice. Okay, so then he's got this landscape photograph, and it is two feet by four feet, right? So, or four feet by two feet, length times width. All right, and then he, you know, he has these business cards he wants to make these little, you know, these small business cards, right? And then in there he wants to probably put the landscape there or something like that, right? He wants to use the landscape photograph, but it's huge, so he wants to make it smaller. Now he's using a scale, it says here, of one quarter inch equals six inches. Well, that means that the smaller, you know, photograph will have one quarter inch for every six inches of the larger photograph, right? So one quarter inch to six inches, that's, that's the ratio, right? All right, well, so how do we get there? Well, we know that the original photograph is four feet, right? And so we have to think, well, how many six inch increments are there? Well, we know that there are, you know, one foot equals 12 inches, right? So we can just take four uh, feet, or four, yeah, times 12, and that equals 48. So we have 48 inches, inches, and then we can divide that 48 by 6, and we would get 8. Right? eight 6 times 8 is 48. So we have 8. So 8 6-inch increments, and that means that we have uh, in the large photograph, in the large length of the photograph here, and then that means we have 8 quarter-inch increments in the smaller photograph over here. So that's 8 quarter-inch increments, and so that's really 2 inches, right? So uh, 48 inches in the large photograph equals 2 inches in the smaller photograph. So if I, maybe I'll draw our, our smaller photograph over here. And so we have a little tiny photograph. Well, it's probably not quite long enough. Let's do this. So we have our little tiny landscape here, let's say. And uh, we said that the long side is 2 inches. OK, fine. Well, then what about the other side? So we've got, we have you know, this side's done, now what about this two foot side? Well, same thing, we can figure out how many inches are in two feet. Well, two times 12 equals 24. And then we do the same thing, we take 24 and we divide it by six inches to figure out how many six inch increments are there in 24 inches. And there are four six inch increments in 24 inches, so that means there are four one quarter inch increments in our smaller photograph. And four, you know, I could take four times, you know, one quarter. And the way you would multiply that is just make this four over one. And that would equal four over four. So that equals one. Four over four equals one. So there's one inch, right? One inch for our other side. So uh, we would have, so if we did length times width, this is length and this is width, it should be two times one. So two by one, two inches by one inch for our brand new smaller photograph, and that is answer E.